So guys, this is what I saw when I was about to export episode four, part two of Alan Wake. As you see, the video was edited. It was edited, it was all ready to go, but I was dumb and deleted the file. The original file for the video, I wish I had a screenshot. It was literally 40 gigabytes and I barely have any space on my hard drive. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and delete this after I uploaded the first part, but I forgot that the first part and second part were connected. I know that makes no sense, but that's just literally what happened, okay? And if you're wondering why I needed 40 gigabytes right then and there, hell divers, okay? I had to save democracy. Anyways, though, today we're going to be watching Alan Wake full story recap because I do still want to know what happens. I'm just severely unmotivated to play the game, one, because of what happened with me deleting part two of episode four because that part was actually really good and i'll show you in the video where episode four left off i mean it'll probably say in the video too but episode four was a good episode and it was picking up the pace and we were putting the facts together kind of but the other reason why i didn't really want to go back to alan wake is because i just was not enjoying the game that much i wasn't enjoying the game play the story was it was like good it was crazy it was wacky it was quirky but like the gameplay just hurt me every time. So I wasn't really enjoying the game anyways, but you know, I still want to know what happens. I still want to play Alan Wake 2 eventually. Actually, you know, I'm just going to go to where episode four kind of left off instead of sitting through this whole video because it is kind of lengthy. So let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I think episode four still kind of left off back here. So this is, oh, this only tells you like the main core parts of the Alan Wake series, Live. so. Before he left the facility, Alan was able to get to know Tor and Odin Anderson, the two old timers from town who know a lot more than they were willing to let on in front of the doctor. The mm -hmm. Anderson brothers so, direct Alan to their farm where they promised- the Okay, so this is what part two was about. Part two was about the farm, Alan dude. Alan begins to understand the nature of the town's monster. The dark presence lurking in Bright Falls is empowered by art, and it manipulates artists to grow itself stronger through the worlds they imbue with purpose, like a song by the Andersons under their moniker, The Old God. Oh, Asgard, or a story like that written by Alan during his missing week. I didn't even know. Dark okay, so this is okay. <laughs> this video is obviously going into things in hindsight, not things that I actually knew while playing the game. But yeah, so and part two, in my part two of episode four, we went to the farmhouse. We had to defeat the uh demons that were like coming to the farmhouse um we were like standing on the stage and there was just like a cool like rock sequence but i couldn't even really show it because the music was copyrighted but yeah that part that part again was pretty fun and alan wake ended up getting drunk while um listening to some of their music he low-key deserved it and uh yeah let, 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 let's see what the game or Let's see what the video is going to say next. A presence served as something like his evil editor. By doing this, the Dark Presence is able to grow its influence beyond its domain known as the Dark Place, a subjective supernatural realm that can appear different to different people, but is never the type of place one would want to land in. So this Alan is when he was drunk. Lady mm -hmm. of the Light, a spot on callback to Twin Peaks Log Lady, who understands better than anyone in town what exactly is going on. So this on. must have if been episode five right here. You, here's where things really start to unravel. The Lady Lady of the Light, Cynthia Weaver, explains to Alan that she's seen what is happening before, back in the 1970s when it was a poet named Thomas Zane who was manipulated mm. by the Dark Presence. In that case, the darkness kidnapped and eventually took on the appearance of his lover, Barbara Jagger. Zane stumbled his way to a conclusion that perhaps could have rescued Jagger and instead lost her for good. Now it's Alan's turn to try and save his love from the same cruel fate. The ghostly okay. guy that Alan has been seeing turns out to be Zane, who has been trying to guide Alan to a happier ending than he got himself. To that end, Weaver explains to Alan that Zane left behind a shoebox specifically for Alan to find years later. In it rests the clicker, a portion of a broken light switch Alan used to play with as a child. To Alan mm. and players alike, the reveal becomes a headache-inducing time loop. You How know what? Zane this story makes so much sense when you look at it in hindsight, but I didn't even get to this part of the game though. Like if I got to episode five and everything was coming together, I would have been like, you know what? 
Let me just go ahead and finish it. I was only on episode four and I still had two more episodes. And then there was a DLC that I um, most likely should have played <laughs> right afterwards. into reality this clicker that comes from alan's time as a kid or did he not do it at all did alan write zane into existence it's the story's best chicken and egg scenario in a basket full of fan theories and lingering mysteries mm, not to get too okay. far ahead but fans are still trying to make sense of it today however the clicker got there alan comes to understand his purpose he must correct zane's wrongs which led to his partner's demise I feel like alan wrote zane Alice. into the story alan takes I feel like the that's clicker how it happened. and after a long march through hell finally comes face to face with the dark presence once more wearing jagger's likeness alan understands that a horror story requires sacrifice and balance the writer can't create the happy ending they may want. It doesn't make narrative sense, and that allows the strangely art-obsessed Dark Presence to prey on those who get greedy, as Alan feels Zane did back in the 70s. To improve on Zane's unintentionally tragic conclusion, Alan writes a new ending to the story. He thrusts the clicker into the black heart of Barbara Jagger and turns it on, sending a mm. burst of magical light scorching through the monster. Okay, well he she killed the defeated, darkness. But not entirely. Instead, oh. it's enough to create an opening for Alice to escape the dark presence. She emerges from the depths of Cauldron Lake and swims to shore shaken, but otherwise seemingly okay despite having spent over a week in the dark place. Alan makes mm. his much needed sacrifice. Poor Alice, bro. I thought Loki was her fault. Of right? Alice. In doing so, Zane <laughs> informs Alan that a doppelganger, whose name can't be heard over a scratching sound that is formed when Zane says it, thus earning him the name Mr. Scratch, will take Alan's place while Alan is away from the physical world from which he came. Alan then sits and prepares to write his exit in a story titled Return. The original game ends this way, though through two DLC chapters we see Alan growing stronger and becoming more familiar with the dark place. He can manipulate the world using words more intricately than before, bringing objects into existence that may aid him as he tries to escape the dark place. The mainline game I'm ends not with how Alan I feel stuck about there, this. though I players would get to explore this, it more in 2012 with the game's pseudo-sequel, Alan Wake's American Nightmare. In American Nightmare, the theme of Time Loops returns, this time to tell a story of Alan further exploring the dark place, now presented as the fictional southwestern looking town of Night Springs, which shares a name with the in-universe Twilight Zone-like TV series. All the while, Alan's doppelganger, Mr. Scratch, seems to wreak havoc in the real world. Alan's disappearance from his normal life and the surrounding events of Bright Falls have given birth to urban legends of a writer, Alan, who snapped and started killing people during a vacation with his wife. These rumors oh. manifest as Mr. Scratch, who is basically Alan's evil twin that becomes a real-life serial killer. Through a series of looping events orchestrated okay, that part by Mr. Is Scratch cool. to keep Alan imprisoned forever in the dark place, Alan is aided by a trio of women, none of whom are Alice or even anyone familiar to the players, taking up residence at a motel, a theater, Damn, and an he loved Alice. Each woman holds a different part of the solution to defeating Mr. Scratch, but the problem is they each keep dying, or Alan otherwise fails in his attempts to gather all he needs. His task is to create the perfect loop and save all of them so that they can survive long enough to help him too. After mm. several spins through the time, okay, loop, wait, American Nightmare sounds pretty fun. Alive and collect everything he needs to defeat Mr. Scratch. The twins have their showdown at the movie theater where it's revealed that Alan's secret weapon was a movie Alice made that writes Mr. Scratch out of existence. It works, and Alan and Alice share a loving embrace at the end of the game. However, a narrator's voice calls into question whether the events of American Nightmare really happened or if they were just Alan's tortured daydreams while he remains stuck in the dark place. And in case I you're wondering, like Remedy does consider fake. this game canon to the overarching story. That oh. was all the Alan Wake story we were served for nearly a decade. Then, in 2020, Remedy's latest game at that time, Control, confirmed the speculation that Control and Alan Wake shared a universe in yeah, a Yeah, no, I was never going to play Control, AWE. by the way. Never. Even eventually dove into the this is like low-key confusing. By the darkness, it, it, it's a like lot. Robert it's it's a lot to take were, in. <laughs> which led him to being impressed during the events of Control when the supernatural hiss took over the building. The two monstrous entities, the Dark Presence and the Hiss, merged with Hartman to create a third worst thing. Jesse Ooh, I wonder Faden, if that's in a... In Ew! <gasps> oh my god, he actually looks like a demon. But I wonder if that's in Alan Wake 2. Like, I'm still very interested to play Alan Wake 2. I'm telling you, I like the story of Alan Wake 1. I just did not like the gameplay. I don't know really how much the gameplay differs between 1 and 2, but A. 2 is just a newer game, so I'm just assuming that it's better than 1 and... 
the area of gameplay. I don't know for sure. I haven't seen anything about Island Wake 2, but I just know that, you know, it's newer. So hopefully it's 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 a little bit better in gameplay. I don't I don't know too much about the story. Um, I think that Alan Wake, I heard that Alan Wake 1 and 2 kind of have the same ending where it's not like really like an ending ending, like, like, like they're not done with the AWE. So it's not an ending ending. It's more of like a expansion, I guess. But hey, I'm, I'm, I'm looking ready for it after seeing this video. But let me go and finish a little bit that I have control left. Eventually defeats Hartman, if we can still call him that, and once and for all cleanses the investigations wing of its monster problem. For what's to come, computers within the oldest house begin reporting on a new AWE occurring in Bright Falls, only it's oddly set in the future, a meta nod to the fact that Alan Wake was still a few years off. Everything oh, so Alan Control Wake was two, a prequel. Including everything Wait, you need what? to know about the new game and our upcoming review stick here to game spot did i miss that oh dr hartman was always like a monster then wait hold on let, 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 me, let me go back and try to actually you know i don't really care um <laughs> but yeah i guess that is the story of alan wake and the dlcs and control i didn't really think that we would get a control thing um i watched this video to like know a little bit more about the alan wake universe because this gave like a very minimalistic overview of Alan Wake and um, the, the DLCs in the other game. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm sorry for the people that are looking forward to me playing Alan Wake. But right now I'm going to be focusing on Batman for a little bit. Maybe towards the end of Batman, I'll start up Alan Wake 2. I have no idea why I'm going to play Alan Wake 2. All I know is that I want to play it soon ish but right now my priorities are batman god of war which i'm almost done with and persona 3 so if you guys like any of those games make sure to subscribe with the notification bell on and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye